Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at two mesh Wi-Fi router systems with Wi-Fi 6 from Rayi. Now, if you're not familiar with the brand, that's for good reason, simply because they're just now making their North American market debut. And to that end, we've actually partnered with Rayi for this video to give you a first look at two of the company's newest devices and to see how they stack up against the competition. So with that, let's take a look. While Rayi is new to North America, the company has over eight years of experience in Wi-Fi routers and has been focusing most of its attention on Wi-Fi 6 and mesh systems themselves. The two devices I'm gonna be testing out for this video are the AX3200 RG R6 2PK and the RG E5. Now, there's a clear difference in the design of these two routers, but they're fundamentally the same since Ray is selling both of these as Wi-Fi 6 mesh router systems. The RG R6 2PK obviously comes with the main router and the base station for this mesh connectivity, but the standalone RG E5 offers the same functionality, allowing you to purchase it on its own as a single router to save money and then add another one to create a mesh network if you move into a larger house or a much bigger office space. Or it can simply be used as an add-on base station and used in conjunction with the RG R6 2PK. Now, before we walk through the setup process and show you the download speeds that you can achieve with these routers, let's do a quick rundown of some of the highlights here because they're pretty important. And we're gonna start things off with the RG E5. As mentioned already, it offers Wi-Fi 6 mesh capabilities, but unlike many other routers that are on the market, it actually supports a total of eight external omnidirectional antennas equipped with 4x4 high power FEM amplifiers. Thanks to its beamforming filtering, it can cover up to 3,000 square feet. It offers dual band support with 2.4 gigahertz at up to 800 megabits per second and 5 gigahertz maxing out at 2,400 megabits per second. But thanks to its Wi-Fi 6 1024 quadrature amplitude modulation technology, also known as QAM, which honestly is so much easier to say, the maximum throughput is bumped up to 3,200 megabits per second for an incredibly smooth gaming experience and media streaming, and also the fastest download speeds possible. The RG R6 2PK offers the same network configuration, but with a slightly different two axis antenna that's optimized for vertical and also horizontal frequency distribution, which is helpful when you have a multi-story house like mine. This setup reduces the signal interference, delivering a better 3D Wi-Fi coverage across your entire house. Since it's comprised of two units, the mesh network can cover up to 4,500 square feet and can manage connectivity to up to 150 devices simultaneously. While you might not think that you'll ever have 150 devices connected to your Wi-Fi network at one time, you'll be surprised by how many devices you probably already have in your house already. We are a family of four, each of us with our own laptop and smartphone as well. And then we have Wi-Fi connected smart speakers throughout the house, smart lights, smart plugs, and quite a few other devices that are simply connected to the Wi-Fi network at all times. All that adds up to quite a bit of network congestion with all these devices fighting for simultaneous connections to the routers. But with Ryu's routers, that definitely shouldn't be an issue at all. But as good as the networking capabilities are, the killer feature for me and probably for a lot of people on Ray's mesh routers is the one-click Ray mesh button on the top. I'll show you how to use this in a minute as I get these things set up, but the basics are pretty simple. Rather than having to use an app on your smartphone or the web interface on your laptop to configure the mesh network between two or more of the routers, you just press the button on the top of the main router that's connected to the modem and Ray's self-developed pairing system will automatically find and then connect the other routers to seamlessly create a mesh network. So let's get these routers set up. I'll be placing the main router in my living room since that's where my fiber modem is located. Simply connect the LAN cable from the modem to the router and then plug the router in. While that's booting up, go to the Play Store or the App Store on your smartphone and download the Rayi app and then follow the on-screen instructions on how to set up the network. As a reminder, this is not a necessary step in order to set up the mesh system for these routers. I always recommend having a strong password to keep network intruders out, so make sure you select a good password for that. Now, if you're worried about remembering your password for when guests come over and try to connect to your Wi-Fi, Rayi's app makes guest Wi-Fi access a breeze. 
From the scenario screen in the app, just tap guest Wi-Fi at the top and toggle it on. By default, there will be no password set up whatsoever and it will be automatically turned off in 12 hours. But you can tweak the settings to add a password if you want and set the guest Wi-Fi duration to be permanent or even make it shorter than the default 12 hours. It's definitely pretty handy and ensures that your guests have Wi-Fi connections and also don't hop onto your main Wi-Fi connection and get access to all your smart home devices. But let's get back to setting up the mesh network. Now that the main router is all configured and completely set up, I can plug in the other RG R6 router and also the RG E5 on the second and the third floor of my house. Having them spread out will ensure the best possible network speeds and also coverage throughout the house. Once they're booted up, just press and hold the mesh button on the top of the main router. And after a couple minutes, the two other routers will automatically connect to the main one as an access point in the mesh network. It's just that easy. I have to say that I did have my doubts about how easy it was gonna to be to set up the mesh network, but the one-click mesh setup button works exactly as advertised. Ray is definitely ahead of the competition when it comes to setting up a mesh network system and taking all of the guesswork out of it. So now that the Wi-Fi 6 mesh network is all set up and done, let's do a couple speed tests to see how fast it actually is. Right now, as you can see, I am up in my office with the RG E5 connected right behind me over there in the corner. And then the main RG R6 router is connected to my fiber modem down on the first floor. The ping numbers actually look really good, but let's see how fast the download and the upload speeds are. So that's our baseline with the mesh network enabled. So let's unplug the router up here and also the one on the second floor and connect directly to the router on the first floor to see what the difference is and if they're even noticeable when running another speed test. And there you go. Having a mesh network is definitely a whole lot better than having a single router way down on the first floor. That being said, the results of the single Ray router, even though it's so far away, are still pretty impressive. And these numbers are actually backed up by an independent study that shows that Ray's routers often have better standalone coverage than competitors like TP-Link and Netgear with better transmit throughput and speeds. I'll have a link to that report in the video description. It's definitely worth taking a look at and the results are truly impressive. So what's your take on Ray's new Wi-Fi 6 mesh routers for North America? I always love hearing what you guys have to say, so be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Both the AX3200 RG R6 II PK and also the RG E5 are available through Amazon, so make sure you check the link as well in the video description if you want to pick one up for yourself. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And for more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe as well. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.